What's up guys, it's your boy Ty Skits here and today we're playing Car Extra Facing Online. In today's Car Extra Facing Online video, I'll be showing you guys the best ultimate drift setup for the Nissan GTR 32. So, if you guys do not know where this car is, it's actually called the Godzilla R3 in game. It's a class 2 car, so what you can do is come in here, come down to class 2, go ahead and grab the Godzilla R3 once you have the car, and make sure you have the ultimate mod equipped. Once you have the ultimate mod equipped on the car, go ahead and equip the body kit also. The body kit I'm running is the fifth one. I'll go ahead and go through everything that I'm running on this kit if you guys would like to run the same thing. <clears throat> if I'm going too fast, make sure to slow down the video so you can catch everything that I put on here. I left everything inside stock, Jesus Christ. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the tune. So head to the dyno stand. Uh, your front spring length is going to be 9, your rear spring length is going to be 8, your front and rear spring stiffness are going to be 110, your front and rear damper fast bump are going to be at 2000, front and rear damper fast rebound are going to be at 3500, front and rear damper bump at 3750, front and rear damper rebound at 7k, front toe 0.40, rear toe negative 0.20, front camera negative 3.27, rear camera negative 1.35, Front and rear anti roll bar at 40, caster at 10, acrobat angle at 25%, max steering angle at 58 degrees. <clears throat> For the wheels, your front and rear rim diameter are going to be 18, front and rear tire width 265, front tire pressure 175, rear tire pressure 180, front and rear wheel adhesion, uh, I run 120, front wheel track 5, rear base 4, front and rear tire profile 25%. For the engine, everything is going to be at max. You guys already know how we do it. Come on now. For the transmission, your diff lock ratio is going to be 1.00. Final drive is going to be 4.19. Gear 1 is going to be 4.00. Gear 2 is going to be 1.50. Gear 3 is going to be 1.21. Gear 4 is going to be 1.12. Gear 5 is going to be 1.06. And uh, gear 6 is going to be 1.02. For the brakes, your brake torque is going to be... 3,500 for running by 70% ABS no launch control tandems no all right so let's go ahead and hop into a training lobby I'm trying to think what lobby I should do or what map I should do I'm thinking maybe some cami road yeah let's do some cami road uh so what I'm gonna do actually no I know this really cool like line on Pacific Hills that I want to show you guys so make sure to comment a W down below in the chat if you guys made it this far but uh I'm gonna show you guys a new line that I like basically found so yeah, it's pretty lit. Already, already got some nice thumbnails for this video. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the line. So usually you wouldn't spawn over here, but this is the line. So basically just pay attention real quick you come down here you swing this whole thing oh my god i knocked out the fire hydrant then you come through here and you go left and then you go right and then you go left again you want to hold this angle all the way around and then once you come right here you're going to swing it just like this and then swing it again. Oh, make sure not to hit any poles. Sheesh. Yo, this R33 tune is actually gas. So yeah, this is the line that I wanted to show you guys. I really do like this line because it has really nice long corners that you can like practice holding your angle on, so. 360 all right I'm gonna take a different different route this time oh wait there's a car there oh turn I was trying to go this way but I couldn't swing because there was like a car there I would have hit the car that would have been all bad yeah, but that's the line I wanted to show you guys. 
other than that, I mean, I don't really, bro, I don't really know what to be saying half the time. Like, what am I supposed to say about these tunes? Comment down below how you feel about the tune. Like, I don't even know. My controller really just died mid-video. My controller, that's the first time that's ever happened. Bro, my controller died mid-video. Okay, but that's the, uh, I don't know. Comment down below how you guys feel about this tune. Like, I don't really even know what to be saying anymore. It's just like, what do I say other than the obvious, like, know what I'm saying? It's like, oh yeah, this tune's great. It's like, okay, Ty, we get it. We get it. We know the tune is fire. We know. It's like, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> Oh no! I had a freaking pole. God dang it. The R33 sounds like way different though. It's like low key screaming, bruh. Man, I was trying to do a 360. I couldn't do it. Come on. Oh, yeah, it does do 360s. It just doesn't have that much power, I feel like. Maybe that's why. The wheels can't really, like, power over unless it's, like, in, like, a, a low gear. Yeah, so watch your 360s with this car. It's got lower power, so unless you're, like, really pushing some RPM like this, like, redlining, it might be difficult to throw a 360. That's, what I, that's one thing I noticed with this car. No, I was trying to do a reverse 360 entry. Oh my God. Yeah, so honestly, what I'd say is I do not recommend the R33 for for uh 360s and reverse entries. I mean, it, it is good, but like, look how much power I just lost. And like, I have a pretty high final drive. Like, it doesn't really have like, it doesn't have like the power to really like push through. So like, I don't know. The reverse entries in 360s are a little sluggish on the on the car. That's all I really like have to say about it when it comes to like performance. Is just the reverse entries in 360s are a little weird. Other than that, this seems like a pretty decent tune, man. Thank you guys for watching this video. This has been your boy Ty Skids playing Car Extra Racing online, and today I showed you guys the best ultimate drift setup for the R33. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Now you guys saw that, right? You guys saw that. It's like sluggish, so don't blame my tune. I made the car fast. Like, look, the car is really fast. It just doesn't have enough power to, like, you know, power through those very big... Oh my god, that was amazing. See, like, even right there, I was going super fast, and it barely has enough power to keep it sliding, so... Just know that this car is a little underpowered, but other than that, man, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.